How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Borlai Hobby Time. In this wild western world of mine, there are mechs. They are wagons and carts that have been retrofitted with legs and other mechanical parts. These mechs' existence necessitates mechanics who could build, repair, and sell these vehicles. I thought that would be the perfect thing for my town, so that is the inspiration for building number four. Like most of these scratch builds, this one began in my bits box. Also got out the Ernie Ball guitar strings, I'll be saving those for later. Rummaged around looking for parts that would make fun additions to this workshop. I took this one piece of balsa wood and I divided it by four, which gave me four pieces of balsa wood. These are going to make up the sides of the building, and I knew I wanted to have a large roll-up garage door on one of these walls, so I cut that out. And then I added some panel lines. This helps break up the surface and make it look like panels instead of one large piece of wood. I cut out a little door for the front of the building. I added a little door frame on there. And I scratched up all of the surfaces with a steel brush to help bring out that grain and help it look a little bit more characterful. I then glued all four of those walls together and I added them to a base. It is a plank of wood with a sheet of styrofoam on top. I used this little guy here to make sure that everything was to scale and I glued the little building down. For the bridge crane hoist that goes on the side of the building, I cut up some styrene I-beam. Cut this into four little pieces about the same height as the building itself. Glued each of those to its own little base, and then down to the bigger base. I connected everything and finished out the frame with some smaller styrene I-beam. To make the wheels for the trolley system that sits on top of that frame, I cut up some styrene tubing I glued a little metal ring to either end. I did that four times. And I glued them in pairs to another piece of styrene. And I had my little wheel system down. I then glued those together at the correct distance using some more styrene. I added a little hoist box in the middle with a claw. And after that was assembled, that was my little hoist and trolley system done. I then finished the roof, I added some trim and some metal mesh and another piece of wood to help break up that large flat area and it was time to make the garage door. I used another piece of metal mesh for this. I bent it slightly to make it look like it was rolling back into the garage. I glued on some little balsa wood strips and then I glued that in place. Very awkwardly. Next, it was time to add the details. I wanted this place to look well used and cluttered, just like my desk looks during the middle of one of these projects. And I also wanted to have a halfway completed mech hanging from the hoist. The conversion from wagon to mech is partially done. They have the power system, some of the other mechanical portions installed, charging, but they still have yet to put on the legs. I added some guitar string power cables and cords to help complete the look. Also added some final details including an antenna and the sign above the door. And after all of that was in place, I cleaned up my workstation and I sealed the foam with some Mod Podge. This is going to protect it from the spray paint during the priming. After I had primed the building, it was time to start painting. In this universe, the converted wagons are known as mules. These vehicles are not necessarily the first choice to take into battle, 
or to take monster hunting, mostly because they're pretty slow and stubborn and awkward to maneuver, but they can carry a lot of weight and supplies, and they can go a lot of places that a wagon or a horse could not go, which kind of makes them the perfect vehicle for prospectors or traveling merchants or occupations like that. I think I'll come up with another name for the two-legged mechs, but as for the four-legged kind, those will be known as mules. To finish off the painting, I went around the base with a black 3.0, and I finished the sign above the door, and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Huge shout out and thank you as always to my patrons. Hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time.